I'll let you look at that, that seventh inning for you today where you got your three runs. Uh, Four G only hits that liner. Could have stopped thinking the ball was an out, thrown out at first, kept running on it, got it, and then uh, Kramer gets the bunt down, Kelly gets the bunt down, mm -hmm. you know, and all of a sudden you got a big inning going. These yeah. are the kind of things you when you're not winning you don't do. Right? Yeah, and and tonight it was one of those things where caught a couple breaks. Um, we executed a couple things and they didn't. Um, and at the end of the night, when you win games, the team that executes will win, and the team that doesn't execute will lose. If both teams, if both teams execute, then you have a good game. Um, but the one thing that I really liked tonight, too, is we were down 3-1, and there was no panic. We just kept going about our business. We fought back to tie it, uh, and then we just continued to pitch and keep ourselves in the game, and then, which led to those bunts. So the, the entire game was good, even though, even though we gave up a couple runs early. You said it before, when Kevin Kramer's on base, usually good things are happening for you. Got on his first four at bats. Yeah. Here's the leadoff guy. Yeah, four hits tonight for him. Two of them bunts. Um, scores three runs. Um, there's a connection between when he gets on base and when he scores runs and when we win games. Um, he's, he's a spark plug for us. Um, when he has a good game, chances are we're having a good game. Um, so he's one of those guys that you'd love to see him get hot like he is right now. Chances are we're gonna we're gonna play a whole lot better. Um, and just start the game with a good hard single up the middle. Um, it, it really makes uh, just puts pressure on the pitcher. You know, all of a sudden now he wants to be perfect with pitches. He walks the next two guys. Um, they did a good job of only going up one run right there. Maybe the bases loaded, no outs, but that single up the middle sets those two walks up for me. Yeah. Before, but you know the bunting with him just adds another dimension to his game that I don't think he even knew he had coming into the show. I think he knew he had it, but I don't think he knew to what degree he had it. Um, he told me from day one, hey, I'm a pretty good bunter, so we, we've been trying to figure out ways to make it more of a weapon. Um, dragging it tonight like he did, and then pushing one on the line, being versatile with which ways he goes, don't get in a pattern of it, and then and then mix it with uh, when when you're swinging well, we start to drop one down. They're, they're sitting back a little bit. So he's he's starting to learn how to use it a lot more to his advantage and uh, and then compounding, <laughs> getting getting multiple good games because uh, when, he's, when he's swinging it well, they've got to respect that as well. they got to play him kind of in the middle. A little bit of a guy like Dorsey was telling us, you know, he's found a different, you know, something in his delivery that maybe he's tweaked a little bit that he thinks has led to this run of success. What's been the main thing there for what you've seen? Once again, 40 has worked a little bit of magic with him, and he just keeps me in the loop on kind of what they're doing. The specific fundamentals on what they're actually working on, not quite aware, but to me it appears that he's, he's figured out how to create angle, which is letting him stay down in the zone, just, just judging from what I'm seeing from my catching background. Um, and, and it's also helping him throw his slider for a strike. So Forty's telling me that they've been working, the big thing that they've been working on is uh, his times to the plate. Um, early on in the season, we had him anywhere from 1-5 to 1-7 to the plate with runners on base. Tonight, we had him 1-2-0. Oh. So that's, that's a half second drop in uh, time to the plate. So now all of a sudden, guys aren't running at will. Um, his sinker's playing better because he has angle. So now he's forcing them to actually beat him and uh, not giving them stolen bases and giving them runs. Kind of strange circumstances Sunday with that game, but to get that win and then uh, come back here for two in a row, how much momentum are you carrying right now? Sunday in State College, man. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a funny win. You know, and it, it shows why attention to detail is so uh, important. Um, the other team didn't pay attention to detail. Um, you have to touch the bag in front of you. We noticed that they didn't, so we appealed it and we kept on playing and then we pulled out the win late. Um, and, and yeah, it's always it was good to get that momentum going into the All-Star break. And then uh, we needed a refresher. The guys were a little tired. Those two days were exactly what we needed. Um, and then they came back in and took care of business, which gets you moving in the right direction. Momentum, it's all about momentum. Right now we got a little momentum. We've got to keep it. And Mahoney Valley, I know their record isn't quite as good, but they've come out of a big hole to get to where they're at. They're actually a better team than their record would suggest, I believe. We haven't seen them since the opening series. So I've been looking at their line scores, and I, I don't recognize a whole lot of players on their team. So it's going to be a kind of go feel them out, and we're going to do what we do, and they're going to do what they do, and we'll make adjustments as we go. Did everybody in your dugout notice that the guy didn't touch second, or was it one person? You guys. On the field, yeah, yeah, because there's mixed emotions in that at that point. Um, the guy hits the ball up the middle, 
your first reaction is we just lost the game. A lot of guys just put their head down and start wandering out. But we had a few players. We noticed it in the dugout. The umpires didn't notice it. They did notice it, but they didn't think we were going to appeal. So they, we actually stopped them and said, hey, did you see him not touch second? Because we want to appeal that. Um, and they said, well, if you want to appeal, appeal. So we appealed. They called him out. That ended the inning, and then we were able to go into the next inning. So they did see it. It was a good job by them. Yeah. Does, it, does it matter if the runner had already crossed the plate? No, because it was a force out at second base. So if he never gets to second base, you can, I mean, you can hypothetically touch it next week, and he's still out. So he's got to get there on force play. He went immediately to celebrating and never completed the, you know, the line that you have to run the force play. You ever heard of a game ending like that before? You know what's funny is I heard one last week. I heard one last week, um, but I've never seen one. I've never been a part of one, um, and I only heard it after the fact that we did it. Um, and I was able to go back and kind of look at it. I, mean, I can't remember who it was, but it happened a week ago somewhere. So yeah, apparently it happens, and uh, I asked. They had a they had a guy over there. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he was uh, he had been doing it for a long time. Uh, the scoring over there, and he said he's seen it before. So I guess it happens here and there. It's very rare, but it happens. Mr. when you're coaching third base, you gotta make sure your guy just you'd be yelling. If that had been your guy, you'd be yelling, screaming to get the yeah, second. You know what's funny is their third base coach was yelling at him to get the right. second base, and the guy couldn't hear him because all he could think about was celebrating. <laughs> so. Sometimes you can yell all you want. It gets loud out there. Because they said the Spikes mascot was running on the field. And yeah. The guys were oh, it was a full-on celebration. We had, to, we had to get them off. It was like a like a college football game with two <laughs> seconds left on the clock, and everybody thought they won. So, yeah, it was really it was an interesting situation. We came out on top, and it's put us where we're at now.